Alright guys. Jesus fucking Christ. Look at that! That's <laughs> that's what I gotta contend with every morning at the moment. Um either way, first thing I'm gonna do is have a shower and get this shit under control. I'm gonna get changed. I wish I could just fucking tie it back, god damn it! But I can't yet. Anyways. I'm going to go have a shower, get a pre-workout drink sorted because I'm actually going to the gym fasted this morning and it's a good opportunity for me to get my first weigh-in. So we are at day... what are we at? Oh, fuck. I never remember. I think, we're at, I think we're at day 16. It is a good opportunity to get a first, first accurate weigh-in. Now, what I will say is that from the start, I haven't been... On this scale, on this particular scales at the gym, I haven't been under, I haven't been under 90 kilo. Like even for the whole time I was prepping, I wasn't under 90. So what that makes me think is that the scales that I've been using at home have been underweighing me the entire time, which I think is very possible. Um, so with that being said, I don't think my body has actually gone under 90 kilo. So 90 kilo is definitely my starting weight. Um, today's going to be interesting. It is day 16, so we've been two weeks into the bulk. But what I will say is that... Oh my god, I can't fucking look into this one. Look at that. This fucking front-facing camera is fucking me off. What I will say is that, yes, I have technically been bulking for probably around about three... Uh, three weeks total. So, for the first week before I made... Um, the first episode of this series, I was in a caloric surplus. I was bringing the calories back in slowly, but I was still bringing them back in. So by the time I made that first episode, I was probably around about 91 kilo. I started taking creatine again. That definitely did, you know, add on probably a couple of pounds, kg or so. I honestly think I'll be around about 93 kilo in the morning. I've measured myself on the scales Throughout the last two weeks, it's been around about that mark. But, but we're going to make an official first weigh-in. Um, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get in the shower right now. I'm sure you guys don't need to come and see that. And I'm going to imagine my hair was long enough to pull back. So I could just do that right now. How easy would that be? Fuck. How fucking easy would that be? It's coming. It's coming. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. That looks a little better. Looks looks a little fresh outside, I'm not gonna lie. But you can already tell it's gonna be a beauty. Alright guys, first things first, the name. L-U-I. Second thing, the game. It, it is the game of bodybuilding. No, it's not really. If you guys don't know what the fuck I was on about, um, I apologize. Um, first things first, guys. We got to get some caffeine in the system. I ain't going to go... I, there is no way I'm doing a faster training session with no caffeine in the system. So, with that being said, it's either going to be one of two choices, which I'm having at the moment, which is... Utopia, which tastes absolutely amazing. It's got to be the best tasting peach mango flavor I've ever had. Or your classic Nescafe coffee. So what's it going to be, guys? Either one of those, as well as a shaker full of BCAAs, um, which I'm going to take with me. Gold standard BCAAs, strawberry kiwi. Wouldn't recommend it. I really wouldn't. Um, the strawberry tastes alright, the kiwi is bitter as fuck, and it, it takes pretty much everything away from the strawberry flavour, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, what I would recommend is Massive Joe's. Love these guys. So we've got Massive Joe's, we've got tights, and socks. Um, one good thing about these long, baggy Massive Joe's t-shirts is the fact that it covers, <laughs> covers my ass, so I can actually wear tights in the gym with no shorts and no one really knows. Because um, you guys may have seen on my first first video, leg day, um, I like wearing tights, man. I'm comfy as right now. I couldn't be more comfortable working out in the gym right now. I've got a nice baggy ass t-shirt. I've got tights 
and socks. <laughs> and if you guys really knew me, if you were some OGs, you'd know that I fucking, I wear socks all the time. I'm hardly ever in any shoes. Um, <laughs> whenever anyone sees me in the supermarket around here, they think I'm fucking homeless because I'm walking in socks all the time. Now, I won't, I won't do bare feet very often. Only if I have to. But socks... I would honestly say I'm in socks, you know, over 50% of the time. Even at work, even at home, you know, shoes are overrated, I'm telling you. So, with that being said, I am going to have a Utopia drink right now. And then I'm going to see you at the gym for some chest. Alright, so it turns out I can't face going to the gym fasted. I think my body has actually grown accustomed to eating first thing in the morning because I'm absolutely hungry as fuck at the moment. So, you know, if I was to go fasted, it would it would just be ridiculous. So I'm finishing off a Titan protein bar from last night and I've got one banana. I'm going to smash these back, drink my pre-workout and then, and then, and then I'll see you at the gym. Is there any parks? That is the question. I doubt it. Oh, look at that. Boom. Now I'm glad I came in here. Alright guys, we are at the gym. I'm about to go inside and start smashing some weights, which is my favourite thing to do, as you guys know. It's a chest day. It's fucking cold outside, it's going to take it a little bit to warm up. Um, first thing I'm going to do is some rotator cuff warm ups on both the cable and also with a 2.5 kg plate. Um, that is the weight that I usually use, no heavier than that. I'll go for maybe 20 reps to the side, 20, uh, maybe 10 reps like that and do it on the other shoulder. Just to get a nice little slight burn in the shoulder. Um, nothing stupid, nothing heavy. You know, it's not a fucking hypertrophy based exercise, it's just to warm up the shoulders. Um, that's how I like to do it anyway. As well as, I might do some shoulder swings and just get the mobility um, really going. And then I'll start into my, my sets um, and exercises. So with that being said, I think it's about time I stop talking to the camera and go inside and uh, try and grow this tiny chest of mine. It's definitely something I want to work on, so let's do it. All right, guys, what is going on? We're here with another voiceover. Today's workout was chest, only chest, and we absolutely smashed it. This morning has not gone ideal. This fucking new editing software has absolutely screwed me over this morning. I'm not feeling in the best mood, but I mean, I have to do this voiceover because a great thing happened today, guys. A great thing happened. I set a new PB on chest. And I'll tell you what, guys, I have not set any PBs on any chest exercise for months, months and months. So it was an absolutely amazing feeling. I'm super stoked. The first thing I did before I got into anything was some warm-ups, as you guys saw, just some light rotator cuff warm-ups with a 2.5 kg plate. I did a few press-ups um, with different hand positions and I did a few sets, well I did two sets on just really, really light weight, as you saw, with 20 kilos each side. From there guys, uh, we went to two plates a side. Now, on my worst days when I was cutting, you know, low carb, no energy, Two plates felt heavy as fuck. I remember sets where I couldn't even get 10 reps with two plates. Um, today, I felt 
a lot better. I felt full. I felt strong. I felt like you're meant to feel in the gym, you know, when you've got the right nutrients flowing through your body. And I think I, I ripped out 12 reps with two plates and that felt really good. So what I did, I went to uh, two and a half plates. Now, my PB of all time is 12 reps with this weight. So today I equaled that. And I probably had a couple of reps left in the tank. So what I decided to do, guys, for the first ever time in my entire life is put three bickies, three big plates on the incline press and see what I can do. And um, I managed to get old mate Travis, the personal trainer, to come and help me, um, give me a little spot to get it up. Well, actually, on this, on this first set, I got it up myself, but every other set after that, um, he gave me a little spot. But So this is the first set. I have never, ever, my heart was fucking racing, mate. I've never lifted this much weight in my entire life. So it was completely new to me. You know, as you can see, I'm still trying to keep the form good. Two seconds down, <laughs> trying to do one second up. But at this point, I was pretty fucked. I think that's six reps. Sixth rep. I think Travis helped me a tiny bit. And that was the first set ever with three plates. On to the second set. I did five sets total. I wanted to go for a five by five. I got six reps in the first set. We've got three, four, and five. And as you can see, guys, like my form is still on point. Um, I was really, like, as I said before, I'm proud of myself. I'm really, really happy with how the form went, how it looked, um, how many reps I got. You know, I think my PB, my best set was actually the fourth set. And, um, Actually, actually, what's this, mate? What's this? What's this, Travis? Oh, you're trying to fuck up my videos, mate. Oh, <laughs> here he is. Here he is, the man. The man. Well, um, just, just get back to that spotting, champ. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Travis has been a huge help. Um, recording, spotting, everything. You know, he's always in the gym. He's always positive, always ready to help out. And he's making his own gains. And he's only 19. And I just told him, man... These are the best years for you, mate. These are the best years. Don't fuck around, get the right advice, train properly, and you're gonna make some amazing gains. So with that being said, I'm about to show you guys my fourth set with three plates. Uh, it was actually my best set. I got seven reps, and um, let's have a look at that one. So guys, like honestly after that set I was just on on a high, on an absolute high. And that's what happens in the gym, man. When you when you surprise yourself, when you're feeling really strong and you know you push through and you get get a PB, fuck it's an amazing feeling. So from there guys, we did the incline press, we went over to a flat press. I prefer this machine over a flat bench. I always have and I probably always will. Um, I just feel like, you know, you can really protract your shoulders, push them back and, and get that squeeze in the top of the chest. You know, I'm just, every rep, I'm just filling the chest with more blood and more blood. Um, I'm not locking out. I'm keeping the tension on the chest the entire time. And uh, I did five working sets on that machine there. From there, we went over to fly, a fly exercise. I used a pec deck um, for about uh, four sets, four working sets. As you can see, it's not a hugely heavy weight. My chest was pretty fatigued, but you know, in every single chest workout, I do want to hit you know a, a couple of pushing movements and a couple of of fly uh, isolation sort of movements. So once again, guys, trying to keep the shoulders back as much as possible, feeling that stretch. I'm not you know I'm not taking the tension off the chest at all. Even even when the shoulders are coming right back, um, the tension is still on the chest. And as you guys can see, when I bring it round and contract it. Um, it, 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 it looks full, it looks full and, and I'm extremely happy as I said, as I keep saying because you know I'm just so sick of feeling flat in the gym with no carbs. So from there the last exercise was a cable fly. We did some from a, an angle just above the shoulder as you're seeing, um, some from a neutral angle and then a couple of sets from the bottom. So that was the chest workout. Fantastic workout, you know this is probably around about an hour total. 
uh, maybe a little bit longer. And I had thoughts of doing shoulders and, and triceps, but nah, honestly, guys, like the delts did get a little bit of a workout already. And um, I think I hit, I hit triceps the day before anyway, so I couldn't really do those. As I said, guys, you know, fantastic workout, felt absolutely on top of the world, hit a PB, you can't beat that. Uh, from here, we went over to the uh, supermarket, which is about two minutes away, and I got some gains, got some food, and <laughs> here's old mate, just putting his little uh, little twist on things. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, here we are at your old mate Coles. Um, about to go and get some carbohydrate sources. We did the chest workout this morning. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the voiceover. It was a fantastic workout. I probably spent an hour and a half in the gym, um, which took me to around about 10.30. I then went and met my sister for some lunch. She's got a day off work too, which is pretty cool. So we went and got some coffee and we got a breakfast, um, which tied me over until now. So it's about 12 o'clock midday. My cupboards are pretty bare once again, especially as far as carbohydrates are concerned. So I'm going to stock up on some bulk carbs, wheat bix, bagels, bread, rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, fucking sweet stuff, more honey, all sorts of shit. So as soon as I know what I'm going to get, I'll show you guys and I'll see you when I get home with some goodies. So I'll see you then. Now, we come to this fateful aisle. It's always the one while cutting that I leave till last. And the one that I can never get out of without choosing something at least. I've got my go-to berries, but we're gonna get something a little bit more exciting than the old berries. Some sort of dessert. I'm really not sure what yet though. Guys, this is just getting fucked. My mindset is still in cutting mode. I can't let myself fucking buy. I deserve. <laughs> Everything's just too high and fat. Uh, no. What do you do? What do you do? I don't fucking know. Now that is what you want to see. Nah, sorry. All right guys, home now. This is the complete grocery haul that I got today. As I said before I went in, mostly carbohydrates. I've got pretty much all the protein I need. Um, as far as protein goes, I did get some egg whites. So we've got five 500 ml containers. Now, the only thing I really use this for is uh, in shakes. Just to mix up the protein source, I'll put in whey and I'll also put in egg whites. 500 ml is the container size. There's eight servings apparently. Eight servings of 7.1 grams of protein, no fat, no carb. Actually, like, quite an expensive way of, of getting protein per gram. When you think about it like that, this is only 56 grams of protein total, and it costs $5 per container. So it's like, is it really worth it? I don't know. 
I like to mix it up. I think egg whites are a fantastic source of protein, so that is why I go for them. But with that being said, here is the carbohydrates that will fuel me for the next week or so. We've got wheat bix, oats, uh, rice, two, two packets of brown rice, two packets of jasmine rice, and two packets of basmati rice. Like I mentioned in a previous video, you know, as far as where I get my, my macros from, um, when it comes to rice, whether that's brown rice, white rice, it really doesn't matter to me. Like I said before, there's possibly you know a few more nutrients in the brown rice. Um, I actually prefer the taste of brown rice to white rice. I think it's got a, it's got a nice taste. Um, white rice is quite flavorless, whereas brown rice actually tastes like something. So if you want my opinion, I actually probably prefer brown rice to be honest. But you know, I've got a mixture of all of them like I have had previously. As far as like bread sort of stuff, we've got bagels, wraps, we've got pikelets, and we have English muffins. So all of these carbohydrate sources that I've mentioned are very low in fat, they've got a little bit of protein in there, and they're versatile. I can have them all throughout the day with different things on them, hot, cold, whatever. That's what I like to do. Almond milk is what I'm going to be having as far as you know mixing it with stuff. I am going to go off dairy. I'm going to try and go dairy free if possible. I think everyone has a slight bit of uh, lactose intolerance the more I read about it. So I'm going to try dairy free and see how we go. So we're sticking to almond milk at the moment. As far as some treat sort of stuff, some nice things, I've got digestive biscuits. These are definitely one of my favorites. I know they're quite like plain and a lot, you know, a lot of people don't really like them, but I do personally. Each biscuit. One protein, three fat, ten carb, with two and a half sugar. So, I'll munch on these throughout the day. I'm not going to eat the whole packet in one day. It'll probably last me three days or something, but there's, there's something nice to munch on. Um, and also, I did get a dessert, as you guys saw. We went with sticky date pudding. I didn't even look at the macros. I could not fucking look at it, because... The mindset I was in when I was cutting, if anything has too much fat per serve... I fucking put it back. I just can't get it. So when I was trying to decide on a nice dessert, obviously they're all, they've all got fat in them. You're never going to get a really nice dessert with low fat. So <laughs> I was fucking paralyzing myself. I could not pick something. So I chose this. I haven't looked at the macros yet, but we're going to do that right now. I could see myself polishing off this entire thing today. So let's look at the macros for the entire box. We've got eight servings. Each serve, 1.6 protein, 7.3 fat, 30.8 carb, for a total of around about 200 calories per serve. So, 1600 calories in this whole thing. <laughs> I don't think I'll be eating it all today, although if I did, it wouldn't be the end of the world. But that is the grocery haul for today, guys. Two, two white monsters. I see Coles has finally jumped on the white monster train and got them up here. I don't know about the Coles in other places in Australia, but in Alice Springs, I could not find these things for the life of me. So we can get them now. I'm stoked about that. Even though I'm not cutting anymore, I still do enjoy a sugar-free white monster from time to time. They're pretty nice. So with that being said, guys, that is it. I'm going to put this shit away. The worst part of shopping is putting the fucking groceries away. But I'm going to do that now. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. I'm all the way up. Hey.